Good morning. It's Monday, July 26, 2021. My name is Alex. I'm your associate at the Corporate Cowboy Podcast, powered by Incorporating Associates. Uh, today's episode is going to be about a conversation I had with, uh, with an associate over the weekend about how to overcome, uh, you could say evil, how to overcome evil or how to overcome individuals, uh, people, how to overcome entities that want to do bad onto you, that want to impose their evil ways onto you, like they're trying to get over on you, put one over on you, have you live under their thumb. And essentially what they had told me was to uh, just do, do right by them, do good by them, killing them with kindness. And um, I guess there are two sides of that coin. And the side that they uh, related unto me was... Uh, was just doing right, was just doing good, not doing uh, evil in return, not operating in the name of revenge, uh, not being vengeful. And I couldn't help but think that uh, you can only do so much before your actions take on the appearance of revenge and it's true it's very true so obviously you always want to do right you always want to do good you want to be in the right you want your motives your intentions to be pure to be wholesome you don't want to end up like the piece of shit who's trying to fuck you over right but then that begs the question, who, uh, who is karma? Where does the karma come from? And is doing right necessarily appeasing the evil one? Is doing right necessarily appeasing your opposition? If your opposition is in a position to take advantage of their power, of their authority say all they ever do is fuck people over rail lines of coke and get blowjobs which one of those three do you want to be you want to get fucked over you want to be the one supplying them coke you want to be blowing them (laughs) no no right because we aren't doing right by their standards we're doing right onto them We are doing good unto them. And if that implies, if that implies cutting them short, cutting them short by their habit, so we shall be. We're doing right by them. If that implies airing them out of their position, it's like, uh, ripping the band-aid off, if you will, then that's exactly what we'll do. That's exactly what should be done. It's natural law. Sometimes doing the right thing looks bad to the wrong people. I mean, I'm not trying to impress this motherfucker, right? In the hypothetical, this person who's a piece of shit, fucking people over, stealing people's money, always hopped up on something, violating people, right? So if you do right to them, they might call out and clamor and saying that we're depriving them of the ability to fuck people over and snort yay and get blowjobs 
But if their position originally entailed them to work, it only lent itself to the opportunity to be exploited in, in, in such a, an egregious manner. A motherfucker has no right to his position. Has no right to his position. He's not entitled to shit. He's not entitled to shit. Not entitled to jack shit. So you gotta do right. Like if a manager, if a manager requests that you uh, forge or doctor some data, you have the option to either do right by them or just do good unto them, you know, out of respect for respect, (laughs) Out out of the goodness of your heart, out of the kindness of your heart. Just do right. Just do good. Motherfuckers can can pretend they own you or they run your life, and they don't. Only as far as what? They could let you go, fire you, terminate you. I mean, in a right-to-work state, in a fire-at-will state, they can. Absolutely. For no reason. For any reason. And no reason. So it's in your best interest to do right. And you do that by comparing what will benefit you versus what will benefit others. And it doesn't have to be directly. Yeah, there are some managers who will tell you straight up that if they meet their numbers, they'll give you a kickback and so you both might benefit directly. But are you really doing right? Integrity says you ought to do right even when you don't want to do right. And that's because it makes everybody's job easier and in turn it makes your job easier with time (laughs) if your manager had figured it out they wouldn't have to cut corners they wouldn't have to cut corners but no instead they've resorted to not waiting and or being a bitch and not pitching their own initiative to better the system and instead milk the system like a fucking parasite and now they turn to you to get you involved to implicate you and your energy and your efforts to subvert your integrity don't let up don't let up all we have in this world is our word and our gun and we don't bust it for nobody else but ourselves right nobody can make you do anything you always have a choice and the choice really is ultimately to do right if you don't do right and you don't do good somebody will come along and correct you (laughs) A true, authentic, corporate cowboy. Which is what we all strive to be. We all want to do right. We all want to do good. We're in the progress of doing so. We're in the process of becoming so. And so that requires us... That requires us to pay attention pay attention to the lay of the land what is right what is wrong what is creative and what is destructive what is mutually beneficial and and what is just exploitative
just requires that you open your eyes recognize the patterns you'll get this with time some people pick it up earlier than others but ultimately it all comes together in the end even if it is the very end and it's life flashing before your eyes and and that realization (laughs) that realization of a pattern of action a pattern of conduct what is right and what is wrong finally hits you finally hits home ultimately it comes down to killing them with kindness being kind always training yourself to move with kindness I'll I'll admit there are some times that my mood isn't the best even if I'm consciously working to be better it just might not be the best and so that requires me to consciously work on being happy on smiling internally smiling eternally (laughs) on smiling internally because folks folks can sense that energy folks can sense that power I guess it's a vibe check the young people call it where if your vibes are good then more often than not you'll be accepted into the fold if the vibes are off folks are going to be a little bit more uh, skeptical a little bit more cautious about your presence about your involvement about you being party to certain transactions they may not let you into the inner circle into uh, their trust and confidence that's why you gotta do right and folks who do right I don't know what it is about evil ones I don't know what it is about uh, yeah I don't know what it is about evil ones that see somebody doing right and that becomes a prize to them like a, like a degenerate pervert might target a virgin who's never had sexual relations before and so they want to hunt they want to chase them they want to lure them and seduce them but <laughs> I've been on I've been on the giving and the receiving end. So now that I'm doing right, and you got to recognize, I hope you hear this in my voice, that I've done enough wrong. I know karma's going to come get me one day. Karma's going to come collect. Karma's going to come collect their pound of soul. But now, until then, I'm doing right. I'm doing good. Actively, actively trying to be better. So what does that make me? I'm just going to do good. I'm just going to do right. It makes me a, uh, I guess, a trap of some, of, of some sort. It makes me a snake in the grass. Why? Because I'm, I'm doing right, yes. And then I get out into the field and motherfuckers see me. And yet I look like prey because I'm doing right. I look like a square. <laughs> I've, I've returned to a, a straight edge, if you will, like a virgin. <laughs> so motherfuckers want to come to me with schemes. Motherfuckers want to come to me with, with plans, delusions of grandeur, with crime. 
with the extortion, with evil. You know, I, I might, I might entertain the thought a little bit before flipping the script. Why? Because it's just easier. It's easier to let prey come to you. You see how easy that is? <laughs> it makes my hair stand on end. You see how easy that is? I don't have to hunt any longer. I don't have to chase. I just have to do good and temptation comes to me. <laughs> Fuck, that's some corporate cowboy shit, yo. <laughs> have a nice week. <laughs>